Hi everybody, this is Darren Goodman from GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson today. Uh, today I want to give you a, <clears throat> a little lesson on uh, how to uh, chain scales together, how to, um, how to chain the modes together actually. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be, uh, uh, we're going to the key of A major and we're going to be, I'm going to show you how you can chain together um, the first and second position, so Ionian and Dorian together. Uh, a lot of times I have students in that when they'll learn the scales are like, you know, well, how, how can I, you know, go from one pattern to another pattern and stuff. So this is just a really kind of a simple exercise that you can do to kind of see how they overlap each other and so you can hook them together. All right, so be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get started. All right, so we're starting on the fifth fret of the sixth string with our first finger and we're going to play uh, the first six notes of um, Ionian, which is uh, five, seven, and nine on the sixth and the fifth string. All right, so the next position starts on, uh, there's three notes per string, so the second position, notes one and two, are notes two and three of the previous uh, sequence. So uh, when we shift up to play the second position, or Dorian, we're going to start on the seventh fret, and we'll play seven and nine, and then ten. And then we'll go to the fifth string and play seven, nine, and eleven. So that entire sequence. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to start on the fifth string. So now it'll be based on strings five and four. So we'll go back to the fifth fret of the fifth string and we'll play five, seven, and nine. And then we move to the fourth string, we shift up a half step and we go six, seven, and nine. Now we go back to the fifth string and we start on uh, the seventh fret and we go seven, nine, and 11 on the fifth and the fourth string. Now we're going to uh, do the same sequence, we're going to do the same th idea again, but we're going to start on the fourth string. So now we're going to start on the uh, the uh, sixth fret of the fourth string, and we're going to go six, seven, nine, and then we're going to do the same thing on the third string. Now we shift to the next position, we go back to the fourth string, and we go seven, nine, eleven on the fourth and the third string. Now we shift back down to the first position. We're on the, on the third string and we're going to go six, seven, nine. And then when we go to the second string, we have to shift, shift up a half of a step and we're gonna go seven, nine, 10. Now we go to the second position and we start on the third string and we're going to go seven, nine, 11. And then when we, uh, now we're gonna have to shift up an entire whole step when we go to the next string and we're going to go nine, 10, 12. Now we're going to shift back down to the uh, first position and uh, now we're playing an Ionian. So we're going to go seven, nine, 10 and we're do the same thing on both strings on the second and the first string. And now when we shift up to the second position to Dorian we're going to start on the uh, ninth fret of the second string and go 9, 10, 12 on both strings. Okay, so now for the entire sequence. So, great exercise to see how they chain together. So the same way that we just did Ionian and Dorian together, you could do the same thing by going from Dorian to Phrygian, and then Phrygian to Lydian, Lydian to Mixolydian, Mixolydian to Aeolian, Aeolian to Locrian, and then Locrian back to Ionian again. Uh, so I would I suggest practicing this in different positions on the neck so you're in different keys. Um, practice it both ascending and descending, and uh, Anyhow, it's a great exercise for really making sure that you 
that you have those scales down and that you understand how they hook together and everything and stuff so you can use them for your improvising and stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and until next time. <laughs>